First, we need to find out if the engine is ready to start. To start the engine manually, the operation switch needs to be set to manual and the status ready for manual start engine stopped should appear. Be sure that the jacket water temperature has reached 55 degrees Celsius or 131 degrees Fahrenheit before starting the engine. Synchronization at a lower temperature must be avoided in all cases. To trigger the startup process, tap on main, start stop, and the green start button, which will activate the auxiliaries, including the pre loop and jacket water pumps. In the middle of the screen, the XT4 shows start program running. As soon as the engine is ready to be started, XT4 shows start engine start button. Tap on the green start button again and confirm with yes. A few seconds later, the starter motor cranks the engine. The ignition and the gas valves are turned on and the engine ramps up to the rated speed. When XT4 shows Synchronize Load Release, change to ELE Synchronization. If the synchronization switch is in off, you need to switch it to auto. With the sync button in automatic, synchronization will begin. And once the generator circuit breaker has closed, the engine will ramp up to the desired load. To stop your engine in manual mode, go to main, start stop, and change the power set point to 10% of the nominal power output. In our case, this will be 84 kilowatts. When 10% has been reached, change the sync switch from auto to off, then open the generator circuit breaker manually by tapping on GCB off. Depending on the engine type, the motor is in idle mode and you need to wait for at least one minute for it to cool down. Then you can finally tap the red stop button which turns off the gas valves and the ignition and the engine stops. It is possible to stop the engine by directly pressing the stop button. However, to avoid stress on the engine, we would recommend that you first ramp down and cool down the engine as we have just shown.